Hello, good evening, welcome to Evening Prayer. We're Wednesday the 23rd of March, another beautiful day to enjoy and to remember that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. So when we rejoice in the light, it reminds us of our God shining down upon us with tremendous blessing. Good evening, Elaine. Good evening, Richard. First day without a coat today, which is awesome. Well, it's great. It's, it's, un, it's I mean, you, you, it's funny how often you get this sort of, and then the weather can go back a bit in April and May, can't it? We often take it all for granted. Uh, yeah, I'm, I moved into the house that I'm in now in April, and it snowed. Mm -hmm. Oh. It snowed on the day we moved, so. Gosh. Yeah, we had, a, I, I vividly remember path clearing snow when I was in Nottingham on, on Palm Sunday. Oh gosh. Going for a walk on Easter Saturday and seeing great snowdrifts by the side of the road up near Howarth, um, near where, um, where the Bronte sisters lived. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, oh, it doesn't always go, well, it doesn't go in a straight line, does it? It doesn't no. straight the way up. Um, anyway. <laughs> Just got to enjoy what you've got when you've got it, I think. We, we can. And, I'm, I'm, you know, we've been talking about, you know, how much we do need to count our blessings. You know, we could be in Ukraine. Exactly. Um, I was reading today, um, uh, we look like we've got another family in Somalia, which could be affecting up to 700,000 people. Oh, gosh. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, you could go on with a list. Mm. Uh, it's been another nasty piece of banditry in northern Nigeria and you know we we're so blessed to have been born into this part of the world and to be living here. Absolutely I was hearing today that the, the Covid numbers are on the the rise. But yes indeed. Four percent up on last week I think. I, I well I would say my family's had it uh, the head teacher at Tardivik schools had it I'm sure we can all think of somebody fairly quickly who's had Covid recently. Yeah, uh, the cleaners at church have all gone down with this as really? well. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's challenging. And um, obviously, I, we've got uh, an unhappy inflation rate in this country. But again, that's an interesting one. We all, we know, we'll all wring our hands about that and point fingers. Um, Ghana is sort of like one of those countries in Africa that other Africans look at as a sort of exemplars. It's one of the sort of ideal African countries. And their inflation rate is about 17% at the moment. So oh, I think we're not doing so bad. <laughs> not doing so bad. Um, and uh, we will just pray that things get better, obviously, for all those things concerned. And I'm sure we'll mention some of those in our prayers this evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, make speed to save us. Oh, Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 36. Sin whispers to the wicked in the depths of their heart. There is no fear of God before their eyes. They flatter themselves in their own eyes that their abominable sin will not be found out. The words of their mouth are unrighteous and full of deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and do good. They think out of mischief upon their beds and have set themselves in no good way, nor do they abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, shall save both man and beast. How precious is your loving mercy, O God. All mortal flesh shall take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the abundance of your house. They shall drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those 
who know you and your righteousness to those who are true of a heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, nor the hand of the ungodly thrust me away. There are they fallen, all who work with... Sorry, I'm getting my teeth in the knot. They are... There are they fallen, all who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to stand. Psalm 39. I said, I will keep watch over my ways, so that I not offend not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, while all the wicked are in my sight. So I held my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent, but to no avail. My distress increased, my heart grew hot within me. While I mused, the fire was kindled, and I spoke out with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and number of my days, that I may know how short my time is. You have made my days but a hand's breath, and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Truly, even those who stand upright are but a breath. We walk about like a shadow, and in vain we are in turmoil. We heap up riches and cannot tell who will gather them. And now, what is my hope? Truly my hope is even in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and do not make me the taunt of the fool. I fell silent and did not open my mouth, for surely it was your doing. Take away your plague from me. I am consumed by the blows of your hand. With rebukes for sin you punish us, like a moth you consume our beauty. Truly everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am but a stranger with you, a wayfarer, as all my forebears were. Turn your gaze from me, that I may be glad again before I go my way, and am no more. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And the reading is John chapter 8, beginning at the 12th verse. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, because I know where I have come from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not alone who are ju I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. Again he said to them, I am going away and you will search for me but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn, 
but the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I will always do what is pleasing to him. And he was saying these things. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just to mention, if you did want to follow the Jeremiah, the Old Testament reading, it's Jeremiah 13, verses 1 to 11. Uh, as the Lord keeps on speaking to Jeremiah about the forthcoming um, disaster that, that was going to hit Judah and Jerusalem. But his vision for God's people in that passage, you will notice that um, they might be for God a people, a name, a praise and a glory. Uh, let's pray that that's true of us as God's people today. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He's come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. So today, let's just gather up some of those concerns and say, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for your ministry in the continent of Africa. Remember before you the high inflation rates, some of which is now being stimulated uh, by the war at Ukraine and the um, shortage of commodities on the international market. We bring before you the concern to feed the people. We've got a, a famine in uh, Somalia, which could be really dangerous. We already know there's a terrible situation in Ethiopia. And we know that the grain harvest in Ukraine is likely to be enormously reduced this year, uh, which will have a, an appalling knock-on effect for uh, staples around the world. Uh, we bring before you the political instability uh, across, particularly across the southern Sahara, uh, as military governments have taken over because of the uh, Islamic terrorist threat. We bring before the Lord the concern to see a reduction in the level of corruption in the public sector and we do pray Lord Jesus that African leaders will make wise decisions for the blessing and benefit of their people and that money will not be stored away where it shouldn't or given to people it shouldn't be given to. Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we come before you today aware of how you call us to be like you. We remember that you made us in your own image and that you gave us mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, people to love, enjoy and work for, and people to pray for, and we are thankful. As we think about our family, help us to remember our own sinfulness before you 
and how you forgive it and so make us within our families and the wider world to be messengers of your reconciling love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our parish, our local community and for our friends and neighbours. Continue to help us to extend the hand of friendship to all we meet in our daily lives, perhaps only by some small, seemingly un unimportant action, so giving substance to our mission to share your good news. The phone call for the old lady who is bedridden, the food gift for the old gentleman who is alone and lonely during lockdown, and, and now beyond, and the kind words for nursing and medical staff, for those suffering in hospital, from whatever disease. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In loving God, we pray once more for all the troubled areas of the world. We think especially of the various people suffering from ideolo ideological abuse by men and women of violence, especially the people of Ukraine, Syria, Iraq, Libya, Yemen, Nigeria, Somalia and Ethiopia. We pray for tolerance and understanding in Greater Palestine. We pray that the Israeli government will afford respect and hope to their Arab citizens and neighbours and that the least the Palestinian Arab people will reciprocate with tolerance and understanding. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Pray that the ongoing process of, of vaccinating de in developing countries against COVID will be greatly blessed and will keep on moving forward. We pray that all the promised um, supplies of various kinds for Ukraine will, will appear and that money that's been designated for refugees um, will also be forthcoming and be spent effectively and well uh, without wastage or corruption. We pray that the Lord will bless the ongoing healthcare programs across developing countries to enable them to deal with um, curable diseases. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that at a time when we'll be tempted to sort of drop the drawbridge and not give to charity other than perhaps to Ukraine, that we will remember the needs of the world beyond ourselves and beyond those things which are immediately in front of our eyes. We also pray at this time that the Lord will greatly bless and guide um, preparations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We pray for the preservation of Her Majesty for that celebration. And we pray that um, communities will find a time where they're able to come together to celebrate and perhaps to restore some relationships that have been lost during COVID. Pray that that will be something that will help to bring people out of their homes and away from um, isolation. And Lord Jesus Christ, we do bring before you the ongoing effects of COVID on individuals, psychological as well as physical and pray that these will be dealt with even as we still continue to suffer from um, COVID in our community. Lord Jesus, speak into our hearts and lives to really care for ourselves well and fill us with your love as we open ourselves to you that we might have more love to give to others. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we walking the way of the cross may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. And trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May God our Redeemer show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks so much, Elaine. Thank you. I will try and have my proper teeth in next time. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm wearing them in for somebody else, I think. It's always a challenge, isn't it, trying? Because when you're the, the thing is, when you're doing it live, it's not like being in a, a, a sort of Bible study group or, 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 or sort of worship group when you're not being televised, because then you can make little mistakes. It doesn't feel it matter. But the moment you end up on a screen as we are, then it kind of feels a bit worse, doesn't it, really? <laughs> it does. <laughs> but uh, it's not, it's just us. And um, we have the treasure of Christ in earthen vessels, we not in uh, pretty pots. So we thank the Lord for that. And so that we don't do, you know, one of the neat things about being weak is we don't obscure the glory of Christ and we pretend to be strong. That's when we can often do it. Um, so we, we've got lots to look for, I'm sure. I, I'm, but a midweek group tonight at eight o'clock, which um, I expect we'll enjoy, I hope so. Yes. And then we will be back with morning prayer tomorrow morning. We'll be Canon Garth Nathaniel at nine o'clock. And I will be back with evening prayer at five. And uh, Elena will be back with you uh, on, on Friday at five, uh, won't you? Yes, that's right. So, Fantastic. I mean, that was sort of crackerjack, wasn't it, back in the old days? Yeah, that's right. the multiple TV channels. So, so we're looking for a crackerjack of an evening prayer from Elaine on Friday. Great. I'll do my best. It's going to be good. We know it's going to be good. Bless <laughs> you, everybody. Have a really good evening. Good night. Bye.